All right, so today is Saturday. Got my poster ready. Gonna go hang it up in the hospital so it can be on display for everybody to see. Hey. So I just put our poster up. Hey. Up for display if you ever come to Delray. Go check out our poster. What's up, Future Docs? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cody. I'm a third year medical student. So in this vlog, I'll be talking about what it's like to do research in medical school. So as a medical student or future medical student, I know a lot of you are considering doing research. And there's been this big stigma on doing research in medical school. Something like I have to spend hours and hours a day in a lab pipetting, doing different things that I really don't want to do. Well, lucky for you, this is not the same kind of research that you did in maybe undergraduate or graduate school. When it comes to doing research in medical school, you have a few different options that you can choose from. So me personally, for my third year, I decided to do some research with one of my guys, JMK. Shout out to JMK A. So we worked on a few research projects. However, you may be surprised to find out that the type of research projects that we did aren't just sitting in labs hours on end and just going over different notes and labs and values and it wasn't none of that so for us what we did was we talked to some of our attending physicians and residents and asked for interesting cases that they may have so a case can be just a patient who comes into the emergency department and just has a very interesting story and outcome um, and you can get this from you know nps pas um, your attendings residents and they'll be happy for you to you know, type up something and share it as a presentation, a paper, or a poster. And doing research this way saves a lot of time um, and a lot of hassle. So what we did was we asked our attending for our different cases. Um, and for example, a case came into our lab for a vaporize-induced lung injury. So we got the patient, we talked to different attendings, um, we read a lot of research articles, and basically we just typed up a, a pre-paper and kind of turned it into a case study, and then we turned that into a poster presentation. So that was pretty easy. We probably got it done in like one or two weeks, um, and it was done in our spare time. So we kind of took initiative to do different things, combined it together, and now we have a solid research poster hanging up at our medical center. And with these posters, you can do a lot with them. You can send them off for different scholarships and prizes. You can present them at different conferences. And you know, the options are pretty much limitless. So my advice to you guys would be, you know, if you don't feel like sitting in a lab all day, you know, doing that type of research, which there are options to do that type of research, obviously, I would suggest, you know, talking to attendings, talking to residents and say, hey, do you have any interesting cases that you may want written up that I can be a part of and help you out on? Chances are they're probably going to be excited and thrilled to have you on board to do something like that. So I know you probably thought this would be like a long extensive video, but I just wanted to keep it simple because doing research in medical school is really that simple. You know, you just find you somebody that's reliable, you know, pair up, do the work, put it in, submit it, and then there you go. So I hope this answers some of you guys' question about doing research in medical school. I know we don't have a lot of time, you know, you're busy studying and practicing your clinical skills. Well, doing this route, you'll be able to do this in your spare time. And I think that's a pretty awesome way on going about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you learned from it. I hope you'll be able to use this strategy. So it's 2020, that means new content. So don't forget, next Sunday, this next Sunday, I'll be launching my new installment of Meal Prep Sundays. I'll be cooking a special dish with a very special guest and I'll be answering some of you guys' questions that you have about medical school. So don't forget to leave your comments and questions in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. See you guys next week.